So this is the 2019 Chelsea Flower Show. And this year I'm the designer for Kirstenbosch and Sandy and their big display here in the Grand Marquis. Now what's this garden all about? It's called Mountains of Abundance. South Africa's mountain ranges, whether it's right in Limpopo, the Drakensberg or in the Western Cape, are full of natural flora that's used all around the world. And I want to show the world where those plants that they buy in their garden centers actually come from. So main mountain range for this garden display was Table Mountain and also some of the mountains around the Western Cape where we have a mass of Proteaceae, Ericas, Restues and cute little bulbs coming through. And that is our main focus for this year's garden. So our category here at the Chelsea Flower Show is floral installations. So this is actually a huge big flower arrangement, but we are allowed to use real plants with roots and cut flowers. A little bit different to some of the other gardens at the show, we have show gardens at the back, which are those huge big ones, which is only real plants, and the fresh gardens on that side. So the design for this garden came about from me looking from my balcony in my apartment onto Table Mountain. And there's quite a distinct line between the Feinbos and those tall sandstone crevices up right to the top. Beautiful fine line. And that is what I want to create here. Have those tall long sandstone slabs that we've put on, which is actually made out of Nova board. It's much lighter for transport because we're making everything in South Africa and then shipping and flying it over to London for the show. The silver trees at the back is exactly how it is in Table Mountain. When you go out the cable car, you go through the silver tree forests, the big king proteas, and the rivers. Table Mountain um, is full of little rivulets and little streams and that is depicted with these big Ndebele hats that I have in the garden. Now the Ndebele hats, why? Because I want to create or bring into the garden a more of a cultural aspect. Our culture in Africa is very vibrant and very colourful and that is where I get that vibrance and colour too for my garden. Once arrived here, the plants have been in boxes for over a week. In the dark, in the cold rooms, they are extremely thirsty. So the first thing we do is we cut all the bases of the flowers, put them in buckets, in the oasis, and let them drink, 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 so that the flowers slowly start to open when they see the light too. Then we can only start assembling, and only assessing what has survived this long journey from Southern Africa to the UK. So our stand this year is called Mountains of Abundance. A stream coming from the mountains has to go somewhere and it goes usually into the wetlands, into the flays before entering the sea. Now for me personally, some of the most interesting bulbs and grassy little plants grow in those wetlands and lowlands. And that's also what I created here. So we start with the sandy plains of Pringle Bay, Betty's Bay. Now some of the plants that actually grow in those sandy bits we found here like chinkering cheese and we found a few different colors too. The restios and then the ericas. Now ericas love those little wetland spots around Pringle Bay and Betty's Bay and we were so fortunate enough to get them from their actual habitat at the Harold Porter Botanical Gardens. Then it flows up towards the mountains. Now here we have a bit of a combination. So we've got some actual Gauteng plants too or Haim Pumalanga plants which is the arum lilies, the yellow arum lilies. Last year we used the white ones, this year we're using the yellow ones which occurs there in Dahlstrom in the highlands and also in the bright sun. Now the yellow is used to just 
just connect with the water features that we have, those Ndebele cultural hats. The Sanbia exhibit here at Chelsea is also a very important exhibit. It's the only exhibit really from Africa and portraying African flora. It's also very important for our diversity back at home in developing it, creating more cut flower farms and so also preserving our natural heritage that we have in the mountains.